Was Darlington too tough to tame? Was someone looking to sweep both races? Let's see what the weekend had to offer. I'm Kim Kuhn. This is Rearview Mirror. Even though it was Labor Day weekend, the drivers were still hard at work. Ross Chastain, pole winner and former watermelon farmer, no, I'm not making that up, led 90 of 147 laps with Brad Keselowski hot on his tail. On lap 104, Keselowski made a move but brushed the wall, allowing Chastain to keep the top spot and Kevin Harvick to pass the number 22 for second. But on lap 111, Harvick and Chastain collided off turn two and gave Keselowski all the opportunity he needed, giving him his first Xfinity Series victory at Darlington. Keselowski knew his win came due to some luck. I could keep up with Ross, but I couldn't pass him. He was so fast and uh, tried to make the move to get by him, and I just brushed the wall, and him and Kevin got back by me. The number 22 knocked one track off his bucket list and proved it's never too late to grab victory. Before we get into the big show, let's check out the Ford Hall of Fans Fan of the Week. I'm Jerry Listman, and I'm Ford Fan of the Week. I'm from Milton, Florida. We've been here six or seven years now, and we come to this track every year, no matter what. The 2012 250, me and my brother, we built it from ground up. We lifted it, we put an eight inch lift on it, and then they said we couldn't put 40s on it, and we did. I redone the hood, I put a custom hood on it, got lights on the hood, then I started to work on the doors. I just want my truck to look different than everybody else's, so I put the, the doors on it like that. But it was a lot of fun building the truck, we had a lot of fun. We'll build a couple more, I guarantee it, you know. As long as I can afford it. <laughs> Are you the world's greatest NASCAR fan? Here's your chance to prove it. Go to nascar.com slash Ford and tell us why you should be inducted into the Ford Hall of Fans. You can win a new Ford vehicle plus a VIP experience at the 2018 Ford Championship Weekend. And on Sunday night, Keslowski did it again. Yep, the number two brought home two trophies in two days, putting in twice the work for twice the reward. After weather delay, the drivers took off and Kyle Larson pulled out ahead, leading a whopping 284 laps of 367, making his defeat all the more unfortunate. Three late race cautions set the number 42 back, and after the final restart, due to a spin from Jeffrey Earnhardt, Keselowski pulled away from pit road in a three-wide close call and clenched his first Southern 500 win and first cup win of the season. Team Penske teammate Joey Logano took second, followed by Larson in third, with Chase Elliott rounding out the top five. Keselowski seemed to think he was dreaming. Am I dreaming, Relic? You're not dreaming, Brad. Looks like the lady in black still has a few tricks up her sleeve. That's it for Rearview Mirror. Check back in next week as we wrap up the regular season at the Brickyard.